Hello, everybody. Matt Brown here with Filter Systems, and we'll get started here. I'm going to go over just a couple brief slides on some updates on the Triton E. So what we have now for the TDSE is we have some additional flow rate options available for the unit. The standard TDSE is with a 15 GPM fixed flow rate. We now offer the E with a variable flow rate of 3 to 15 gallons per minute as well as a higher flow rate of 22 GPM flow rate. And these new flow rates are going to allow the E to operate on larger and or smaller reservoirs, provide more opportunities for you. With a 3 to 15 GPM variable flow rate, it's still going to be very simple operation in the startup menu. As you can see right there, I've got it circled at the GPM. You can just manually adjust it to the flow rate you want prior to startup, and you can select between 3 and 15. And then as you're actually running the unit, you will be allowed to adjust it, but it'll only be in one gallon intervals over a period of one minute to allow the pumps to adjust. Also on the far right, you're going to see an auto start disabled, and that's a new function that we have on our units that all our new units being built. We have an updated controller from Siemens, which has allowed more inputs. And what the auto restart is going to allow is if you program in a desired saturation level of, say, 20%, the unit is actually going to shut down when it meets that saturation level. What you can do is program in a elapsed time to it, say it's four hours or 24 hours. The Triton E, as long as it still has power to it, will start up during that interval that you program and actually run for 10 minutes, check the saturation, and if it meets the user programmed level, the unit will shut down. If not, the unit will continue to operate until it meets that saturation level and then go into its shutdown mode. It will also continue to restart on those intervals as well. So that's a nicer function that we have. Instead of running the unit nonstop, we can get at least the reservoir to a maintained saturation level without any user intervention. The 22 fixed GPM flow rate is going to allow you to do a larger tank, same viscosity. You can go up to about a 4,000 gallon tank. And the nice thing about it is the dimensions have not changed at all of the outside dimensions. The weight's a little higher because of the new pumps, but it's going to be the same footprint involved to it. Still have the same benefits that we've had before, but we also have the ability to use this unit on smaller tanks, which for rental fleet operators, it's going to be a nice plus it's going to allow them to have one machine that they can send out to numerous different sized reservoirs now. Now, we also are in the process of testing our dewatering rates according to ISO 18237. And this is a new standard that ISO organization has come up to try and get more realistic dewatering rates from all our competitors. Once this testing is completed, we'll have it available, and it would be a highly recommended that when you're comparing apples to apples, we find out which dewatering rate our competitors are using. We're finding that a competitor that's stating five gallons per hour water removal rate is just not feasible on that. So we need to find out which standards that they're using on our competitors and then compare it to ours, which is actually according to the ISO standards. And we've got some recent successful applications of the TDSE in it. These all occurred last year. We had a stainless steel producer down there that had a failed heat exchanger that was leading to large ingression of water in their 900-gallon tank. Turned out they had a competitor's unit in there, and the competitor's unit was not able to keep up with that ingression. It was a vacuum dehydrator in there at 20 GPMs and was not able to keep up with that ingression. We sent a TDSE down on a demo agreement trial period. And as soon as we hooked up that TDSE, in 15 hours, we were able to drop it down to 50% saturation, which the competitors wouldn't do. And ultimately, the customer came back with a saturation level of 30% and proceeded to purchase the unit. And then we had a successful application at a large paper mill. They had a 2,500-gallon tank of ISO 220 hydraulic oil that had a constant ingression of water. They had currently had a competitor's 20 GPM system in there, more of a filtration-type unit, 
that was costing $25,000 a year in elements, and the system could maintain a saturation level of 60 to 85 percent. Once again, we took a TDSE demo out there, and within 24 hours, we were able to achieve 50, 60 percent saturation and maintain it while the mill was running. They ended up purchasing that unit as well. That's what I have on the TDSE.